Build Homes Now is a campaign to try and get empty land across the city filled with social housing, public housing for the 30 odd thousand families that are currently on the waiting list. We organised a series of workshops with the group members in Build Homes Now and also some families who had recently um, arrived in Belfast from Syria who were also having serious housing issues in the private landlord accommodation that they've been housed in. And also we invited a lot of local um, artists and activists and other campaigns. We did a series of workshops on using you know, humour and satire and subvertising. Subvertising is kind of like taking advertising and fixing it to make it more true. And that can be as simple as altering an existing ad. The sign that used to advertise a semi-automatic rifle altered to read, shoot a school kid. Or as complicated as developing an entirely new ad campaign for a company or a government. The other day I came across the website named Cole Cares. The fake website says the company would offer free decorated inhalers to children, but it actually is mocking the coal industry. Subvertising can be ironic, but it can also be a way of proposing real solutions. Back in 2014, families, homeless families that we were working with went across the city and mapped out land that um, could be used to build public housing. Build Homes Now had developed a brilliant solution to the housing problem in Belfast, but the city government wasn't even considering it. So we joined them for a week of action and talked through the plans that they had dreamed up to build social housing. To culminate the week of action, all of the families and um, young people from the campaign wore hazmat suits and went up and threw a lot of sunflower seed bombs to detoxify the land. The Matthews is a 25 acre empty publicly owned piece of land and um, we think they should build homes on it. Unfortunately the land is toxic because it was a former factory so we're going out to plant some sunflower seeds because sunflowers detoxify land. So we're here today to detoxify the land and to show everyone this is where we're going to build homes and we need to do it now. We also found out that the, yeah, the, some of the guys that the Yes Men had brought along kind of took the issue into their own hands. So we decided independently that there's probably more that we could do to push city government into action. So we designed some fake billboards, we designed fake bus stop ads and put them up, we invented a whole fake PR company, and that's how we weaseled our way onto stage at a supply chain conference. My plan today was to tell you all about Castlebrook's new Tribeca luxury development. Instead, they were going to build our Sunflower Eco Village that we've been campaigning for at Mackey's. A place called Sunflower Eco Village. Uh, it's a 100% sustainable, 100% social housing development, smack dab in the middle of West Belfast. We've begun launching all over Belfast a marketing campaign. Uh, we handed out brochures. We're going to give out. It sounds like that's what um, the last two keynote speakers were talking about, is making social housing. It's about this. And then... <laughs> I'll walk around and grab the seats. Yeah, I'll walk around and get the The CEO of who's speaking this afternoon is just phone just to say, make sure everyone looks through the event. And then they confiscated the brochures and kicked us out. Are these the guys here? Guys, are you distributing these leaflets? Oh, oh, God. No, I was just thinking if I ever was going to wear a power suit in my life, this would be why. Yeah, power. Power. So the city took down our subvertising, but it did cause a bit of a fuss and it showed up in the papers the next day in Belfast. I mean, it was obvious that they ruffled a lot of feathers. What their actions and the week of action were very efficient at was force the council and the developer into denying that they were going to build social housing on this site, which forces the question, why not? It put 
Mackie's on the map for a lot of people that didn't previously know about um, our plans for the site and our visions for what we wanted to create. So advertising is an easy and creative way to advertise the world that you want. Yes! Yeah!